What is happening guys? Cowboy here and we are ready to continue. So I really hate that as soon as you hit this area, it's called Cathedral of the Deep. Um, and specific this first bonfire. I feel like, you know, the area where we're about to go is the actual Cathedral of the Deep. And, you know, up until now, it's just kind of like the graveyard. But from a bonfire perspective, I don't want to like miss title episodes and get people lost. Anyway. So from the Cleansing Chapel Bonfire, just run on along. You may all remember this shortcut. We're gonna run. There's our uh, fun beasties. Just skip right past them. Hit that elevator. Or not elevator, excuse me, stairs. Ladder. God, I am messing up all of my different words. Climb the ladder. And then we're gonna continue on from there. I don't think I run into any more tentacle beasts for a bit, so I'm going to put back on my parry shield, which will help me deal with uh, Little Miss Twin Blades over here. Oh, whatever. Oh, my God. Probably sharpen and heal up, but whatever. She's dead. <clears throat> That's all that really matters. So, um, from here, you're going to want to have a shield equipped. And up until now, you know, Dark Souls 3 has been, been kind of mild. Uh, can't open this for now. We're going to end up getting this shortcut a little bit later. But uh, this next area is just riddled. Absolutely riddled with ambushes. Tons and tons of ambushes. So, um, there's an archer guy up there. Now that we've aggroed them, if we actually back up... Try not to get hit in the back with a flaming arrow. But if you chill here for a second, that archer should come down. As you can see, they're walking. They're like, where did this guy go? I can't get him. So it just makes your life a lot easier. Force him to come down, and then you can uh, just run on up. Take him out. You do want to be mindful of your Estus here. Uh, we got a little ways to go before we're going to reach another shortcut slash bonfire. Um, so guy right here. Uh, kill him, but do be cautious. Um, there is this ledge right here, obviously, and you don't want to be you know, forward advancing with your swings and walk off. So keep that in mind. Um, those. Kill this, good sir. No, there will be none of that today. Um, now, this area has a bunch of enemies that are basically just waiting for a chance to uh, to jump on you. And I didn't pick up my damn bolts yet. I really need to get those bolts. Um, see if I can target one and hit him with a throwing knife. There's one. Getting them to drop down will make your life a little bit easier. Uh, the one here with the flamber is just the only one that's a real threat. Um, the other ones can't do... They can't really do damage, you know, they're rather weak. Flamberge one, though, he can certainly mess you up. So we're going to go over here and grab this soul. Uh, get ready for a little bit of an ambush. Use that as a free opportunity to get some healing. There's our other guy. Now this area, uh, if you have a bow, you can just knock them all out with a bow. Pretty easy to do that. If you don't, just run on down. Take out those archers as fast as you can. Now there's this platform here, and if you run and you jump at just the right time, you'll make it. Now I'm not entirely sure of the purpose of this, to be completely honest with you. Um, there's the enemy. I guess the whole purpose is to maybe just go up here and kill the potential ambush guys for later. 
But there's no items up here, which is kind of odd, you know, considering you have to do a, a um, jump over a potential death spot to reach it. Get down here. You'd think there'd be some enemies that you could access, or um, some loot up here, but no, just uh, you know, just some dudes to kill. But either way, removing them will ensure that they don't get involved with this later. Um, so from here... Man, we are making really fast progress. Um, instead of trying to make that jump back, roll down right here. If you aim for this spot right here, you won't lose any damage. And we're going to go over this way, and we have a fatty along with a bunch of guys worshipping her. So we're going to buff up. Oh, Doris, please stop it. Ah, right, and there we go. And as you just saw right there, I got hit by a white cloud. Now, you'll see those every now and then. Um, that white cloud is basically a charm that's going to prevent you from using Estus. So, it won't prevent healing. Um, like, if you were a, uh, if you have a, a cleric, you can still heal using spells, but it will prevent all Estus use. It doesn't last for too long, roughly about 30 seconds, but do keep that in mind. You know, especially as a new player to the series, uh, getting hit by one of those, and just to show you um, right here, Undead Hunter Charm. Um, so they're, they're mainly intended for PvP if you have a person who is um, just, you know, constantly healing and healing and healing. You pop one of those, hit them in the face with it, that stops their healing, and then you beat them down. But from a PvE perspective, it can be quite dangerous. So grab the red bug pellets. Slay the ambush. Did I not have a note of that ambush? Um, so, we got this guy next. Um, you can either parry him or just block and take him down. I'm a big fan of the block and kill tactic. Which apparently is not working out well at all for me right now. Alright, now this ambush, right here there are going to be four enemies in this room. Um, two of them will appear pretty much as soon as you even get to the door. The other two, you have to actually walk into the room for... ...and get them to, to come down. Oh my god! They actually have a good chance to kill me here. That will not be happening. No. I've gone too long in this series without dying. I sure as hell don't plan on happening now. And since we got three, there should only be one more in here. Yeah, last time... Oh, no, there is two still. Huh. I do not remember the third one. I thought it was a 2-2 two -two split. Anyway, now that they're dead, we can grab our soul. And we're almost into the cathedral. A uh, couple more enemies we got to take out. So these guys are potential suiciders. Um, last one. If they do suicide, they, they're kind of dumb. As you can see, that one just got himself killed. Um, now we have this platform over here. You can use this for plunge attacks against the enemies we're going to take on in a second. But we have to fight two dual wield dancers. Um, and I'm just calling them mini dancers just because that's they, they remind me of the dancer. But they're not dancers, so... Come on, ladies. Let's go. Is this one... Are you bugged? That's odd. Oh, there's her friend. Let's kill her sister first. So now that we got our attention, we're going to go, run. If you're quick enough with it. Did she not follow me? Oh, she did. I just wasn't quick enough with it. Ah. Oh my god, and she dodged my plunge! Not today. God, I hate this spot. 
like I said, probably one of the harder spots um, for the early game. Probably the hardest spot for the early game, in my experience at least. Like, I've burned through all my Estus already. Um, so, I don't know why she's bugged. She usually isn't bugged. Actually, I can, this is a free opportunity for her heals. Poor girl. I like how we're still getting the uh, feedback off the statue. Either way, she's down. Um, so moving on up, couple basic guys to kill. See there, if they get close enough, they'll jump at you and explode. You can just roll, let them kill themselves though. Um, so going on up, if you are really, and I mean really struggling at this point, um, we can cut through here and get the first bonfire. We'll kill this guy first. Don't be doing anything. Um, the bonfire is right through here. It's not far at all. Um, that being said, we are going to kill this group over here first. Now, this group is a little deceptive because there's not actually um, a couple extra enemies just kind of show up. Um, but on the note of if you're low enough, one thing I haven't mentioned up until now is you actually have iframes during certain actions. For example, when I just opened that door, I would have been invulnerable to attacks from enemies. So um, to elaborate on that, yesterday on stream, just because of how I hate this area, um, my health was extremely low. I had no Estus, and effectively what I ended up doing was um, just sprinting past all these enemies, got to this door, rolled through the door, and then went straight for the bonfire. So if you are that low, it is a rather risky option, but it is one that you could take. Regardless, I wouldn't feel right without letting you guys know that, so. Okay. but I guess not. Anyway, get the ember. This is going much smoother than I expected it to, though, even though I have burned through all my Estus. Um, do I have... I do not have fire bombs on. And do I have four? I may have to pick up some more fire bombs, though we could use the charcoal pine as well. Um, so right here you'll see these enemies. And as you can see... They're, they're pretty resilient. They don't take a lot of damage. Until you throw fire. Fire bombs annihilate these things. Now, they're not a giant threat. Um, there's an item right here, but it is a trap as well. So just run up, grab it, back up. Um, but yeah, they're not, they're not a massive threat. They don't do a lot of damage. But, you know, regardless, anytime there's an enemy that takes, like, 8-plus attacks to kill, they're, they're usually kind of a nuisance. So... It's just something to make mention of. Um, you know, fire bombs will clean them right up. There are going to be packs of them a little bit later in this area that we're going to want those fire bombs for, so just make sure you have enough when we get to them. Um, now, from here, we don't want to go this way just yet. This is the, the bonfire shortcut, so we're going to take this down, hit our bonfire, get all of our delicious Estus back. To get. Opens the door. And rest up at the bonfire. So, real fast, let me just see status. Souls required. Uh, yeah. Once so this next area gets pretty long, so we actually are going to go level up real fast. Um, in addition to picking up some more fire bombs, just for good measure, because they will help a lot against uh, the enemies in this upcoming area. Do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think this will probably end up being two parts. Uh, second part of it being the boss. Oh, whatever, I'll 
just save those little ones until I have a bunch. Um, so for those curious about our stats, of course, it's been a while. Uh, still 20 vigor, endurance is up to 20. I want to get that up to 40, but instead I've started to focus on strength. Uh, since my weapon is a scaling, of course, I want to get that up. Um, so coming up, we actually, just looking at my list, I believe we run into large titanite. Yes, we get two large titanite really soon. Be able to get our weapon up to plus four. Um, go to her, pick up a bunch of bombs. Ashen. Now we have enough bombs for days. Kill all those little blobbers. I think before we wrap this up, we'll probably uh, make it down to the giants. And then um, I think that would be... Well, there's the rooftop section as well. Well, we'll just see how far we get once we approach that 20-minute mark. I think it'll be right around the time we reach the Giants and Kirk. Um, so, in terms of um, important items coming up, though, we have Aldrich's Sapphire, uh, our large Titanite, the Maiden Gear, uh, the Bident, the Drang Set. Pale Tongues, which is used to respec. And then uh, our Covenant, which allows us to... Uh, Covenant where we use the tongues to respect. So yeah, some definitely some important stuff. Uh, we also have a, uh, from a mimic, we get a tome as well, which we can give for more miracles. Anyway, on we go. I keep forgetting I need to level up my decks one point so I can try out that giant machete that I picked up. Okay, so before we go out this way, we're going to go down here. get our deep gem. We have to get past a fatty first. Deep gem. So deep gems function very similar to fire gems. They take your weapon and they split it 50% um, physical damage, 50% dark damage, but you do lose scaling. Um, very similar. You might remember the deep battle axe from earlier. So, in this next area, the very first thing we're going to want to do... Come on, Blobby. Um, you're going to want to just run. You're going to want to run as fast as you can to the other side. And that's because of this guy. Now, you see a couple items. Um, this Lloyd Sword Ring is the only real one of mention that's worth getting. Here comes the giant. Keep running. Oh, God, he's so brutal. You can dodge his attacks. It's rather tricky. As you can see, we managed to just barely dodge those two. And we're good. Okay. Um, so the other two items... Oh, Jesus. Why did you come down after me? Um, the other two items up there are exploding bolts and then a, uh, a thing of souls. But as we went away, you can see now he's back down and he's taking his nap. So this gives us a free window to run over here now. Like how, as I'm saying that I get hit, I got our exploding bolts. Got the soul. And now we're going to go. Um, but basically, making him go back to sleep, it just buys you a little bit of time. As you can see, now, you know, we while we did get hit by him, um, just that extra time we got from him kind of resting his head, it worked out quite well in our favor. So uh, we're going to be taking this left path first. A um, couple of basic enemies we're going to kill here. Kind of hanging on the ledge right there. You can see them. Go over here. Oh, oh. Come on. Get down. Get our seek guidance. Now we have to go kill a fatty again. Gonna have an ember up here. <laughs> Fatty killed me so much in the Let's Play series. Um, so right here, this is where those archers were at. That's where the giants at. 
roll down. You can run back, whatever you're more comfortable with. Now we're going to be taking the lower path. Going to go all the way down first. And it's mimic time. Our deep braille divine tome. Switch up to a parry shield. We have a uh, first encounter with a knight momentarily. I think we got all the little guys, but there might be one more that drops down. I'm just trying to see if I can bait him out first. No, I don't see him. Okay. Alright, um, so with this knight, you can parry him. That's going to be your best bet. He's getting a good parry on him. He will try and shield bash. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But getting parries is definitely the best way to take these guys down. Following the parry, I would suggest charging an R2. Nope, he got his shield up in time. Alternatively, you can... Well, I mean, roll backstab always works. But um, I was going to say, you can do the kick break his shield. He doesn't guard too much, so it's a little bit harder, um, but it is possible. Now, fair warning for any of those with arachnophobia up next. You might want to close your eyes for a minute. Um, we're going to go in here, grab the... What was this? Uh, ember. And then looking up top... Spider Dog! So, some clear bloodborne -ish type beast here. Um, it's not too bad. I wouldn't even go as far as to call it a mini-boss, because, you know, it's already dead. But definitely fucking creepy. And Ulrich is Sapphire. Awesome, awesome ring to pick up. I don't think Flynn's is helping me really at all. It's helping me very, very little, really. Um, actually, I'm going to do Sloyd's Sword Ring, just because my health is almost always at full with the, the sword. Um, but the ring, actually, pretty good. If you get critical attacks a lot, it restores your FP, so... Definitely something worthwhile, and I'm going to actually take off the Sapphire, and I'll put on Flynn's in place of that. It kind of counteracts to have the Sapphire and Lloyd's, which I didn't even show Lloyd's. Lloyd's is the other ring that we picked up. Uh, boost your attacks when your HP is full, as you can see. Um, pretty significant, 199 up to 219, so 20 attack boost. All right, here we are with the, uh, the Giants. Here's our Giant. There's our, our other Giant. Well, he's over there. Over that way. Um, so before we fight them, we're actually going to go get a bonfire real fast. Well, first we'll take out Kirk. Kirk, where are you at, buddy? There's Kirk. Okay. We'll wait for Kirk. We'll take him out. Buff my... Oh my god, the little guys get involved too. And it's the Flamberge one. It's like the only little enemy that is actually a threat. The annoying thing about Kirk is as he rolls, he damages you with that armor, which is kind of a nuisance. Oh my god. Oh my god, and Kirk actually killed me. I cannot believe it. Talk about massive fails right there. We are down. We have finally lost our ember. God, how long has it been without us dying? That's unbelievable. All because I failed to hit my parries. I'm just going to have to practice parrying, like doing nothing but parrying for like three days straight. Anyway, ember. We're wrapping this one up. Uh, next episode, 
we're going to resume right where we were there. Um, kill Kirk, get the whole area knocked out, show you the next bonfire shortcut. So either way, guys, a bit of an unfortunate death. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been quite a while. And uh, we will catch up with you guys in the next episode as we wrap up the cathedral and take on the boss.